Can you believe the growing season is coming to an end, Brad? You know, wrapping up the month of October, it's been a very wacky month of some high highs, but low lows. Let's focus hyper local. Okay, yeah. so worst case scenario would be a category one wind, which is 74 miles per hour, a slight storm surge and gusty wind. That is going to be the impact there on the coast and even locally. We are in the height of the flooding right here in parts of Lumberton. I just want to show you just the incredible footage of all around and us. The tricky I mean. part about these roads, Brooke, is that they are blanketed under the snow with a glaze of ice. You are going to get a real taste of some good winter weather. Winter weather but I don't yeah. think winter's here. Let's just reel that in Tornado on the ground. So I want you guys at home to take this very, very seriously. We've been talking about this for days and now it's time to really take action. Oh, Big what? headline tonight, freeze warning. For Mecklenburg County, yeah, you know, it certainly climbed the books. At last check, 5.3 inches fell, which came third for the highest snowfall total ever. Sarah, tell you what, it is cold outside, but nothing compared to, to the mountains. I know, and it is slam packed up there. Take a look at the Beach Mountain base. A lot of people up, a lot of kids, especially from out of town up towards the mountains to take advantage of their potential three day weekend. Not looking too bad. So we're going to zoom in here. You see some man made snow and some natural snow. Not too bad out there. Tomorrow's planner here in Charlotte. I can tell you will start very cold, cold enough to get snow. However, just no moisture in the region. We're starting off in the 20s and upper teens in Uptown Charlotte, rising to the upper 30s and low 40s by the afternoon with sunshine to boot. You had a few clouds this afternoon, but nothing that lingered all day. Still bright out there. My attention is out towards the west where we're going to see our next frontal boundary come through with a punch on the thermometer. It is going to be very cold and we'll have even enough moisture in place with this guys to see some rain, snow, even a mix Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. You see the bulk of the cold air getting here late Tuesday night, but you can't rule out some flurries ahead of it, even behind it. So there is a chance for snow Tuesday night into Wednesday. You see that front getting out of here though by Wednesday evening. Let's talk snow snow potential. I'm liking this model run. Let's see that hasn't updated since I checked it last, but you see some higher totals naturally up towards the mountains, but also some flurries potentially even sticking here in Charlotte. I want to show you now what I showed you earlier. The odds of two inches of snow before it's all said and done with Charlotte less than 5%. You've got a 10% there in the yellow, which includes Mooresville and Hickory. The lime green, they're showing you out 20% for Taylorsville, Linville, but a higher amount or higher probability there up towards the mountains to see greater than two inches. The Euro being generous with a light dusting here in Charlotte, the GFS as well. But as I do the fine tune, you see this a lot, this aqua color here, that's more the two inches range. So right now we're looking at if anything, a dusting, but that would be best case scenario at this point. Of course, we're going to update the forecast as we get closer, but I have to let you know that yes, there is a chance for the wintry stuff Tuesday night into Wednesday. So if that's a impacting any schools, potentially it's going to be Wednesday, not tomorrow though. Kids likely are already out of school. You've got some uh, lows tonight in the teens. So the kids thankfully are not going to be at the bus stop tomorrow morning. 20s in Charlotte. I guarantee a lot of folks sleeping in with the day off tomorrow. Albemarle 17 tonight, 19 in Chesterfield. Your 10 day temperature trend taking you below normal at least for the next few days and then eventually we're warming back up into those mid 50s guys but we got to get there first. We are excited to tell you that we are gaining daylight about a minute, minute, minute and a half over the next seven days. So that's exciting. More daylight allows us to get warmer And tomorrow. We will be warmer. 41 is a forecast that I'm looking at mainly clear skies. Now the probability of any precipitation is going to be Wednesday morning, about a 40% chance for any precipitation with this frontal boundary, but it is going to be cold on Wednesday highs only in the mid thirties.